So taking a look at 6e, this again is a double square root equation, so we have to be careful when we solve this. And when we take a look at the graph of this, the graph of this looks like this. So when I graph this, there's my square root equation. Now it has an asymptote at 0. And so that's the left side of the equation. So as x gets really, really big, it actually ends up being basically square root 3x minus square root 3x because that minus 10 and plus 7 is really not very significant for really, really big values of x. And so we end up, the left side tends towards 0 and the right side just stays 1. So we can see that there is no real solution for this. Okay, but we're going to solve this and we're just going to know that when we solve this, that the solution is in fact extraneous. So how do we go about solving this? Well, we're going to take that minus square root and we're going to put it to the other side so we can isolate the 3x minus 10 square root. And we're going to get rid of this square root first. Okay, so we're going to undo this square root with a square. And we're going to square this. And again, be careful when you're squaring the left hand, the right hand side, because we cannot square those two parts individually. We have to, since there's a minus in there, we have to multiply this out, which means FOIL. So we end up with 1 minus 2 square root 3x plus 7 plus, and then we undo the square root, so we end up with 3x plus 7. Okay, so then we need to isolate that square root, so I'm going to add it to both sides. So on the left hand side is going to be the positive 2 square root 3x plus 7. And on the right hand side, we're just going to combine our like terms, so I'm going to add up my 8. And then I'm going to add 10 to both sides from the minus 10 on the left hand side. So I get 18. And then on this side here, conveniently, the 3x's cancel out. So I just end up with the square root term equaling 18. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And then I'm going to get rid of that square root by squaring both sides and nicely this works out nicely because I don't have a binomial term on the right hand side when I square this. So I get a nice solution here. This is equal to 81. I end up with 3x is equal to 74 and then dividing both sides I end up with 74 over 3. Okay, so there's my solution. However, looking at the graph, this is extraneous because we have no solution here when x, y equals 1 on one side and y equals the double square root on the right left hand side, they do not intersect. So this solution is extraneous. And we could also test this solution by plugging it back in, but in the end, this is extraneous.